What's up guys, welcome to the channel. We are going to be reviewing the Pocket Guitars Chord Trainers. I'm not really sure what to call them. They, I've seen them referred to as both of those things. And to be honest, there's a bunch of these. And I, I know that a lot of people pick them up on Amazon. They're pretty cheap. And I notice they have some popularity. It seems like particularly around the holidays, these things get trotted out. And there are just a lot of them. And uh, I actually actually found one of these uh, at a thrift shop. Um, uh, my wife likes to browse around the thrift shops and we come across stuff like this sometimes. And uh, I just I, I realized that they are kind of a dime a dozen on Amazon. And I, I wanted to give my two cents and, and just basically point out that I think they're not a good way to learn. Their basic design is they have the the strings here and then the kind of kind of like a cheap plasticky fretboard and then some have like if we go down uh, some have a they're kind of in like a sheath so they can pull in and out of that sheath and what I initially thought you see some here have like a chord uh, kind of a chord diagram thing to help you practice and what I initially thought when I looked at this is I thought that this black part here was some kind of a strumming apparatus but you you can't even do that so like you can't you can't strum chords you can literally you can't tune the strings you literally just press uh press the things down press the strings down to practice and i think that's just a bad way to learn because you're you're basically removing half of the uh, functionality involved with playing chords and we we are gonna we we listen some recommendations of uh some some programs here that we recommend that are better for learning guitar uh, and then of course that that is predicated all of these programs are predicated on the fact that you have an actual guitar and not just one of these little chord trainer things uh, and these are programs we partner with so we're going to link to them in the description those help support the channel you can check those out if you want to if not that's fine uh, the, the the main issue uh, that I'm concerned about is just just telling you not to buy one of these um, and and there isn't a lot to them, but some of the some of the problems, um, you know, it, it's it's almost kind of like a one of those as seen on TV stores where they have all this junk that, you know, might be kind of eye catching, but none of it you really need, uh, and it's made to play like an actual guitar, but but again, you can't play it, uh, and it just takes a lot of um, it takes a lot of the functionality that you have to think about when playing guitar, which is what I kind of wrote about here in, in this paragraph. You know, your posture and uh, your right hand movement, kind of the way you're uh, uh, strumming and distributing your weight and stuff like that. It's all really important and none of that is in play when you're using one of these pocket guitar things. Um, so it's just, in, in other words, you can't really apply it to what it's like to play an actual guitar. Uh, and then it boils, boils learning chords down to just pattern memorization, which is, in my opinion, a bad way to learn because then it's leaving out uh, what your right hand needs to be doing and it's making it harder to actually spend spend time and energy learning more than just the structure of the chord. Because you can learn the structure of the chord and you can practice that, um, but it's not going to do you a lot of good if you don't do it in a way that is applicable to what it's actually like to play the guitar and then of course you know there's no sound you can't uh you can't really you could maybe sort of pretend to strum them but but like i said that they're covered with that plastic sheath and so that's not really going to work so you can't really hear anything um and then overall it's just kind of a cheap uh this is sort of a, of a similar thing uh kind of a similar take that we had on chord buddy system uh, it's just, you know, maybe kind of a cool idea in some way, but just very poorly executed. And then if you go to Amazon, I'm not going to go there, but I did take a screenshot where you just have, you just have like a ton of these and, and these, uh, companies that put these out like YZN Life, Pocket Guitar, um, Van Goa. I, I don't mind Van Goa. They make some good, some good pedal boards. Um, but, it, but it's just sort of, you know, like I wrote here, a bunch of D-list companies. Uh, it's kind of a it's kind of a telltale sign that 
that you just have a bunch of cheap things that are getting thrown on Amazon and people are buying them up. So anyway, it's a short video. That's all I have to say about that. Just avoid it. Like I, you know, when I see a bunch of reviews like this, I can tell people are buying these and the reviews are pretty mixed. Like if you go in and look, there are actually a lot of pretty bad reviews that sort of say the same thing I did. So I just thought I'd write this up. Like I said, check out the alternatives. Uh, I have uh, links to these in the description that help support the channel. And if you don't mind, you can hit the subscribe and the like button. That helps out as well. And we will see you guys next time. Thank you.